whenever you know get heavy and you begin to feel like the weight of the world is bent down on your shoulder what you need to do then is just steal away somewhere and by the
tell him something.
You talk about in an ever-changing world, a species needs to either adapt or they will die out. And then you go on to say, and I quote, that humanity is now faced with a stark choice. Evolve or die. die. There's so much to say in so little time. This is a song for those left behind. An insider's view to what's going on. If Christians are raptured away and are gone. In case of emergency, take this CD and make many copies to give away free. But first, get a Bible and start reading now. The moment will come when they will not allow distribution, possession of anything Christian. You'll go underground. A secret resistance and face persecution, imprisoned and beaten. Now is the time to make your decision To battle his minions left on this earth Or fall for a false explanation Prefer to be herded like sheep The ancient delusion, the oldest of schemes Has come to conclusion A mark of the beast from the father of lies The angel of light, master of disguise He's devising a plan, preparing us now And through evolution, convincing the crowds That aliens somehow are out there And bound to have all of the answers And power to know the solution Like indigo Children smarter than humans, more intuition, much more evolved. They're sending a vision. Prepare the whole world with a false explanation. If we're to evolve, we must remove Christians. They call it the cleansing, and this is their mission. Evolve or die refers to whether humanity survives as a species. There is a, an enormous awakening happening on the planet. The age of Aquarius ending duality, Oprah the secret and Eckhart Tolle preach what will bring in a new age reality based in traditions of pagan theosophy, bound to be thousands of offshoots of Crowley, students of Alice C. Bailey who follow the lies of Helena Blavatsky radically altering, changing the pages of history, laying the groundwork forged by the tools of Lucifer paving the way for the United Nations, a slow preparation Patiently waiting since the creation The Garden of Eden A planet whose placement in time Is persuaded by aliens Outside invasions, abductions and cow mutilations Creating an atmosphere right for the picking With movies and Hollywood implanting trickery Mastery over the masses The whole world collapses in panic All desperate for someone to save them Obey anyone that will answer their questions The savior of sorts, a new age messiah The wolf in sheep's clothing is what will transpire The mayhem is out of control at this moment A world full of chaos, confusion, and torment I'm telling you, don't stop at anything You can't afford to face life without Christ as your king The moment might come when the songs are reality Trapped in a world where it's actually happening That's one of my favorite quotes That a significant portion of the Earth's population will soon And if you didn't follow the established path If you did the unexpected Would you feel scared? Proud? Relieved? Could you explain that helping the people of Peru improve their own community would also have an effect on your own? Or assisting an entrepreneur in Ukraine to launch her small business? Or creating a support group in Malawi for children orphaned by AIDS? What if you established your own path? One that others might follow? Would you rather make your own way? Or spend your life saying, what if? Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. To find out more, call 1-800-424-8580 or go to peacecorps.gov. You are listening to the Gospel Music Explosion with Minister Robin Lynn. Eclipse 
of the sun.